Hi guys, welcome to the construction site on Monday. Today we are going to pour uh, concrete for the uh, pillars or the posts, columns, whatever you call them, in the house. But also I got a little task to do. I've been uh, on Friday, I went to the water treatment plant, the wastewater treatment plant uh, in our city, uh, because they have a lab for testing water and I pick up uh, two jars. This one is sterile and this one is just regular and we're going to test the water for some bacteria and also some uh, minerals to see if it's safe for use or doesn't contain any different weird stuff that we might get hurt from. And uh, yeah, so I'm running some water out of the well. I've been running it for a, almost a month now, I guess, uh, to water a tree that we replanted. And uh, this is just now pouring the water out from whatever is standing so that we get some fresh water. I also have a little burner that I'm going to sanitize the end just to kill off any bacteria for these tests. And then we'll see what happens. Alright, so the water has been running for some time now. I'm gonna shut it off, disinfect the outlet and uh, take some samples. Alright guys, so fire is the best way disinfect stuff, fire, alcohol or chemistry. now just turn the gas off and now for our two containers this is the regular one I'll just put it down here and then for this one the guys at the lab told me not to touch anything anywhere near the cap or the threads with my hands just to grab a sample and be done with it so let's run some water maybe not at maximum pressure No in between settings. All right, well, this will have to do. So I'll take off this cap. I'll turn this, open this up, and collect some water. All right. There we go. And we'll comb them. Alright, now for the other one. This one is much less critical. But the guy told me to fill it to the top. the top. All right. Yeah. So that would be it. I'm all pretty wet. And now it's time to head out to the lab and deliver this before uh, they close the lab. They open till 12 and at 11 I have uh, some concrete coming so and it's 10 o'clock now so we have to make it pretty quick. All right guys I'm back from the lab and here comes the pump, right on time. The guys are making final adjustments uh, to the posts on the uh, mudroom. And here the weather one in the garage is not finished, but we're, we will pour that together with the uh, top floor, the ceiling. All of these are fine. So, uh, yeah, no need to rush it because this can be pulled later. The 
Jedź, 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 tak, tak, tak jak jedziesz, ciuteńkę niżej, wyżej, niżej u Ciebie, jedź, jedź, o teraz jedź. The concrete truck is here, but the weather is not letting up, I think it's going to rain, it's starting to drizzle, so, great weather for concrete once again. The magic dust once again into the columns so that uh, if there's any any chance of water coming through the tar paper it will stop it. I'm just overdoing everything but yeah why not? We have some left over so we just throw it in. coming out of the post when the guys are vibrating them. really cool the posts seem to be fall, holding up fine doesn't doesn't seem they have leaned in any direction so the bracing is good and uh, yeah we're almost done Two more left on the front and that will be it.
So we did all of them like uh, a bit more than halfway and now we're doing a second run. We're going to fill them almost to the top. The truck is gone and I need to sign. So we're dumping the remainder of the concrete from the bucket next to the garage. There's still plenty of concrete left. All right, guys, this will be the end of the video. But first, I'm going to show you some things that I did apart from us uh, pouring post today. I managed to finally get this wooden structure inside. There are cross pieces running this way and this way in three planes. And then a vertical piece that uh, has them all screwed together so they don't move apart. Hopefully this will reinforce uh, the container from the inside against crushing of the water and also for the bottom I plan to put in some concrete. I bought some bags of uh, pre-made mixed concrete and some rocks just to make the bottom heavy. I would lose some capacity of the container but it's better than having it squished. So. I bought like 250 kilos that's about that that is about 100 and or 150 liters of concrete that will go into this tank that's just 15 percent and I'll have absolute security that this won't move because the forces applied by the water I don't think they're able to lift 250 kilos and I'm guessing that the bottom has to be raised up for the walls to be able to get crushed and with the leftover concrete from the pumps basket I took part of it and I poured myself a concrete slab for the hydro four so that I can bolt it down and it won't tip over anymore and it will be harder for somebody that is unprepared just take it with them and steal it because right now you can unscrew it just with your hand there's no bolts or anything just put it in your pocket and walk away and it's yours. So I'll bolt it down and maybe I'll figure out some, I don't know, torque screws or something that is not very common so that it's not easy to unbolt. I don't know, something like that. Yeah, this came out pretty well. And uh, I came out, came a bit too late to smooth it out and I've got some ripples on the surface. But for my first concrete, I think this is pretty nice and it came out quite level. Good enough for a foundation for a shack for the hydro form. I just built up some wooden uh, sides and a roof and some doors so it can be enclosed from the elements and won't rust that much. So that would be cool and it also will be out of sight so, so that nobody knows it's there maybe. Right, okay, I hope you enjoyed this episode. It was a pretty fun day. Thank you guys very much for watching. And I hope I'll see you soon. Bye.